You keep showing up like you're gonna get tech news or something. How did you, how did you get so clever? That's a smart move. Okay. <laughs> Nvidia is officially giving up on its acquisition of ARM after almost 18 months of chasing the smaller company, which will instead be listed as a publicly traded company by its owner, Japanese conglomerate SoftBank. Blasted bank. <laughs> The $66 billion sale would have been the biggest buyout of a chip manufacturer in history, but regulators in the UK and the US thought that an NVIDIA with the arm gem in its gauntlet would be more powerful than Thanos. Right beside the Blizzard Activision stove. That's the one you wanna put in. Though they weren't able to consummate their relationship, NVIDIA and ARM are still on good terms, with Team Green calling ARM the most important CPU architecture of the next decade. Yeah, okay, NVIDIA, deal's over, okay? Rip risk. Flattery will get you nowhere. Rip risk? Risk five. Risk five? See you later. Or rip risk the board game. Samsung held its bajillionth unpacked event today. Just keep finding more. In here. Oh, it's a huge box. And announced new phones and tablets and a car. Thanks, mom and dad. They didn't do that. It was a joke. That would have been fun though. The much leaked Galaxy S22, S22 Plus, and S22 Ultra are now official with the usual upgraded cameras and processors, etc. But notably, the S22 Ultra has a night mode for video they're calling nightography, which looks kind of cool. And, and oh yeah, it has an S Pen, making it essentially a Galaxy Note reborn. I love this pen. Spenny boy! <laughs> and your phone comes with a spin. It spins. It never really made sense that the Note and the Galaxy were different product lines anyway, so this is good. The Ultra also has a 6.8 inch, 1,750 nit display. It's gonna outshine the sun. It'll be available for $1,200 US with the S22 and S22 Plus starting at $800 and $1,000 respectively with some pared down specs. Samsung also announced a new Tab S8, S8 Plus, and S8 Ultra, which may give iPads a run for their money. I mean, the iPads don't even have a notch and this one does. And th that's what I'm looking for in a tablet. BTS likes it. You know Dynamite? No. And Epic Games lost its Apple lawsuit, but thanks to a US bill now being considered by the Senate, Big Tech's reckoning may now be at hand. The Open App Markets Act was introduced last year, proposing constraints on certain anti-competitive behavior by tech giants, like preferencing their own services or restricting competitors. And this week, the Senate Judiciary Committee voted 20 to two to give it a full vote in the Senate. Microsoft, clearly trying to get ahead of the regulation, today announced they'd be following a new set of open app store principles that will apply to the Microsoft Store and the next generation marketplaces they build for games but not the Xbox store, presumably because consoles are still special. There's a little bit of magic in there. You can see it in the Master Chief's eyes. Now it's time for Quick Bits, brought to you by Manscaped and their ultra premium collection, the all-in-one skin and hair care kit for the everyday man, and it covers every body part. We're talking butt, yeah. balls, yeah. and body. Yeah. Three parts. Not your head though. That's right, the Ultra Premium Kit has shampoo, body wash, hydrating spray, and deodorant to make man maintenance easier than ever. And in case you thought men couldn't care about negative impacts on the world, these products are cruelty-free, paraben-free, and vegan! That's manly. The eye lasers! So go to manscaped.com and use promo code TECH for 20% off your order, plus free international shipping. Quick bits? Ooh, I like the sound of that. <laughs> Apple may think they're better than you, but they also think they're better than Square, the company that makes those mobile tap to pay dongles. Because Cupertino just announced iPhones will soon be able to tap to receive payments as well as send them, turning every iPhone into a mobile payments terminal. I'm gonna be getting real close to people on the bus. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh man, this will be so cool for the people who go outside. Everyone knows Google is tracking everything they do, but the tech giant thought they'd give you a reminder of that with Chrome Journeys, an upcoming feature that will let you type in a topic and resume your research from when you went down a rabbit hole at 3 a.m. months or years ago. This has big, uh, I know what you did last summer vibes, but it also seems really useful. I mean, Wikipedia <laughs> is a hell of a drug. The UK-based Jet Laboratory has broken its own world record for the amount of energy it can extract from a fusion reaction. Scientists were able to produce 59 megajoules of energy over five seconds, which is only enough to boil like 60 kettles worth of water, but that's a lot of tea. What? <laughs> Spill it. And more importantly, it means we could have stable fusion power by as soon as 2050, allowing all the rich people to finally escape the planet. We'll look after the place, don't worry guys, bye bye. 
High-profile New York couple Ilya Liechtenstein and Heather Morgan were arrested by the FBI on Tuesday on charges of laundering $4.5 billion worth of Bitcoin stolen from the hacked Bitfinex exchange back in 2016. We got it. We <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. I'm holding it. They, uh, how do they do the, the table thing where they like lay out what they got? The exhibits? In the, yeah. They can't do it. <laughs> But what makes things even crazier is the fact that Morgan moonlighted as a surrealist rapper going by Razzle Khan, Razzle Khan. And honestly, I'm not sure whether her stuff is intentionally bad or not. I feel like it has to be. I don't speak Klingon. <laughs> Anyways, don't steal stuff. And maybe be careful what radio stations you listen to, because as the Seattle Times reports, the infotainment systems in a number of Mazda cars got bricked when their owners tuned in to 94.9 FM an NPR station that, that was- plays Razzle Oh my God, it's the connection. It's an NPR station that was transmitting an HD radio signal containing image files without extensions. I think they might've been NFTs. And that's one more reason to stay away. Not even once. <laughs> NFTs, not even once. Don't even listen to them. But don't stay away from TechLinked. I mean, okay, wait, stay away for one more day and then come back on Friday for more tech news. And then after that, to stay away. For two days. You can figure, it's an on and off thing. Love you. <laughs>